I think the main difference in this show, the new thing in my work, is that I've been repeating a shape over and over within a single painting. And that's why I've entitled it Shadows and Reflections. Both shadows and reflections are all about light. They're transient. They don't last. I think painting is basically about light. A lot of the shapes are based on prime numbers, fives and sevens, prime numbers, or like an absolute, you know, it can't be divided any longer. My interest in the prime numbers goes back to Brancusi's sculptures of the endless columns. The way that he would take a module and repeat it over and over and over again so that ultimately it could go as far into the universe as you could possibly continue it. People have talked about the work in terms of fractals, string theory, a lot of scientific and mathematical things that well, I find it interesting. They're not necessarily things that I'm concerned with initially. I oftentimes feel like I make a discovery and then later on find that someone else has made the same discovery in a more intense way. Right along with the prime numbers is this idea of fabric or canvas that is a grid in the way that it's woven and the way that it can be repeated over and over. If you had a loom that had enough warps to it, you could have a piece of fabric that would just continue till infinity. Something that is ongoing and absolute. The paintings are made up of a number of different components besides paint. There may be thread that is strung back and forth on the canvas. There are different fabrics that are embedded in the paint. Laser cut pieces of paper, as well as collage papers that have been painted previously. The whole process of making the work is, in some ways, much more elaborate, I think, than just a painting that's straight paint on canvas. All of the pieces in this show are either on wood panels or wood, except for the pieces that are in the front of the gallery, and those are acrylic medium and various fabrics on shaped supports. And the support itself is a part of the image because you can see through the paint into the background behind the painting. The shapes on the transparent paintings are made prior to starting the paintings, and that shape becomes kind of the subject of the paintings. And then there's this transparent skin that goes over that, and hopefully the viewer will understand that what's going on behind the painting is just as important and a part of the painting as the surface. It's basically just acrylic gloss medium that's built up so it becomes like a skin. To reinforce that, oftentimes I'll include something like either a knitted string or a cheesecloth or a fabric called tulle that's used like in bridal veils. Once those things are embedded into the paint, it adds some structure to it and some strength to the surface. In many ways, they become almost transparent. There's dichotomies and contrasts in the paintings. The background, or what appears to be a ground, oftentimes will be monochromatic gray. What might be considered the figure oftentimes is color. The shapes themselves usually start out with curves that hit on these five or seven points. Later on in the painting, oftentimes I'll go back and connect those dots so that they become angular. When I was in graduate school, color field painting was really quite important. The idea that stemmed from Clement Greenberg's writing was that a painting must always be flat. I, in some ways, 
adhere to that. But recently, as I've used string in the paintings, it started to suggest a three-dimensional space, a kind of perspective. There's a contrast going on between something that feels flat and something that feels spatial. Here's my hopes as you look at the work, and that is that you'll want to come back and look at it again. I think in our world today, things are moving so quickly that painting is the one element that can sustain observation over a long period of time. Hopefully, as I make these paintings, there's enough variety and different levels that you can appreciate it on. You can come back and see it fresh over time. The one thing I want to avoid is a kind of pictorial element where you look at it for three seconds and absorb everything. I want you to be able to see it again and again, and it always offers more. Thank you.